The Charts option on Pilatus PC-24 aircraft gives the pilot the ability to view Jeppesen terminal charts directly on the MFD. To access charts, select the Charts soft key or push the bezel button on the side of the map display. Charts can also be accessed by pushing the Format button on the MFC until the charts display is shown. If the option for second charts is installed, charts can be accessed on either MFD. With second charts installed, charts can also be displayed in the lower MFD in pre-departure clearance mode. This also adds redundancy in the event of an AGM failure. Once the charts display is accessed, charts for the selected airport are shown. The Airport Selection drop-down menu displays the airport identifier of the selected airport. If a flight plan is loaded into the FMS, charts for the origin, destination, and alternate airports will automatically be loaded. You can manually search for and view charts for any airport in your subscription database at any time. The Revision Info window contains information about the Charts database. The Chart tabs are used to access the various types of charts for an airport. If a chart category is not available for the selected airport, the associated tab is grayed out. To view a chart, first select the appropriate category. In this case, we have selected the SID category. Since the Edith 4 RNAV departure is selected in our flight plan, it is displayed by default. To view the available SIDs for the airport, click in the Chart Title bar to view the Chart Title drop-down menu. Any procedures in the active flight plan are displayed first, followed by the rest of the available charts. Click on a Chart Title to view the chart. Only the chart name, index number, and geo-referenced icon are displayed in the Chart Title drop-down menu. Other identifying characteristics, such as the revision date and effective date, are displayed on the chart itself. After reviewing another chart, you can quickly return to the chart in your flight plan. Charts in your flight plan will always be shown towards the top of the chart title menu. When there are more results that can be shown in a window, a scroll bar will be displayed. Use the MFC or CCD to scroll through the list. To view charts for an airport that is not part of your active flight plan, access the Airport drop-down menu and click on Search Airport. Airports can be searched for by the IKO identifier, airport name, or by city or country. Any airport that fits the entered search criteria is displayed in the search results window. Select an airport from the list to display the charts for that airport. Charts from the airport search can now be reviewed. Accessing charts using the search airport function does not change the airports in the active flight plan. There are several chart functions that can change how a chart is displayed. Once a chart has been selected, you can pan across the chart display by moving the cursor to the edge of the display and pushing the Enter button. Zoom in or out of the chart using the Dataset knob or the scroll wheel on the CCD. Clicking anywhere on a chart displays the Chart Task menu. The Chart Task menu allows the pilot to choose how the selected chart is displayed on the MFD. To center the chart on a place of interest, click on the chart and select Center Chart. Clicking on Fit will automatically zoom the chart to fit the display. While flying an approach, the Split function can be used to display the plan view of the chart along with the header section, profile view, or minimums section. To split the view of a chart, click on split and choose between the header, 
profile, or minima views. The chart display can be rotated by placing the cursor on the Rotate selection and turning the dataset knob. When available, selecting aircraft displays the actual location of the aircraft in relation to the chart. To view the aircraft location on a chart, the selected chart must be geo-referenced. Geo-referenced charts are indicated by an aircraft symbol displayed in the chart title bar. This feature greatly increases situational awareness both in the air and on the ground and can be used with other cockpit indications to quickly determine the aircraft's position. When the aircraft position is displayed on a chart, clicking on Center Aircraft will center the aircraft on the display. Selecting Night Mode will display the charts using colors that are optimized for a dark cockpit. Night mode can be selected manually at any time. After a power cycle, day or night mode will be selected automatically based on the time at the location of the aircraft. For information about chart databases installed on the aircraft, access the revision info window. The revision info window provides a general idea of the regions covered by chart databases. When charts are first accessed, the revision info window will automatically be displayed if the chart's database is expired or out of date. If the database is out of date, a warning message will also be displayed here. The revision info window will also be displayed in the event of a system failure or if the entered serial number or access codes are invalid. A serial number is issued to each subscriber and determines the region of chart coverage for the subscription. If additional or temporary access for a particular geographical region is needed, an access code can be requested from INDS. INDS is a collaboration between Honeywell and Jeppesen. Click on the X in the upper right corner to close the revision info window. The Charts feature on the Pilatus PC24 is a convenient way to quickly access terminal charts and can help reduce cockpit clutter while providing increased situational awareness both on the ground and in flight.